Hey what's up, it's Chris from Rooker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you this really cool technique inside of Adobe After Effects where you can copy and make duplicates of skyscrapers and buildings within a moving video. So to begin with we're going to load up the tracker window and then we're going to track the motion in the shots. From here a tracking point will be generated and we need to place this somewhere near the skyscraper that we want to duplicate and we need to place it in an area that has a high amount of contrast. So if I place this in the sky, this isn't going to work because there's no data for this tracking point to stick to. So for this example, I'm going to place this tracking point at the base of the skyscraper in this contrasted area on this building. Now, once you've placed your tracking point, you can press the play button and the computer is going to analyze the footage and update that tracking point to follow the camera's movements. So now we'll just go through and we'll just double check that that tracking point is following the camera's movement. And once you're happy, we can go ahead and create a brand new null object. So we'll go into layer, new, null object. And now from here in the tracker window, we're going to press edit target. And we're going to change the layer to null one and press OK. We'll apply and we'll apply the dimensions to X and Y and we'll press OK. Now all of that tracking information has been submitted and has been sent to that null object. So when we add the skyscraper, we're going to add it to this null object. So from here, we'll duplicate the footage We'll right click, we'll go up to time and press freeze frame. Now from here, we want to zoom into the footage and we want to cut out that skyscraper using the pen tool. So we'll go up to the pen tool and we'll draw a mask around that skyscraper. And now once you've drawn the mask around the skyscraper, you want to use this lasso tool on that second footage layer and drag this onto the null object. So this means that we're going to link that frozen skyscraper to the tracking points that we created earlier on. So if we move the skyscraper over to the right, if we play this back, there you go, you can see that the skyscraper is perfectly sticking to the shot. And now all we need to do to progress with this effect is clean up the bottom of the mask. So we'll just reduce the opacity to around 20% just so we can see what we're doing. And then we'll update the mask so that it follows the skyline. And as soon as you've completed with that, we can zoom out, play back, and there you go. You successfully duplicated this building from this shot and you can go ahead and duplicate this as many times as you like. If you enjoyed watching this video then please do let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe by pressing that circle icon up there and also don't forget to check out the previous video by clicking this rectangle icon just down here.